What up, YouTube? It's Team Plays for Days again. We got our boy Corey. What up, Corey? He over here got second place with the deck that everybody is really scared of, but nobody's been playing apparently. It's amazing, bro. Go ahead and let them know what it is. All right, so I play Great Fate Frozen Star is possibly best deck in game right now. Oh um, my god. Didn't really have too many bad matchups. You know, the only matchup that was really, really bad for us today was fucking Vortis. My bad for my language, but. You know, okay, is it Opie's we got channel? second place to Executioners because we didn't draw shields, but you know, that's just the nature of the beast, you know? So, some sexy Sophia flag and best buddy Regal Ryan. Sophia's Ryan, Bay. Know? Regal Ryan is the buddy because, you know, he just does the most. Sets up your drop tone for your uh, Starfall Knights and then allows you to draw as many cards as you want as long as you keep spamming his little loop. So, self explanatory. Let's get on to the size twos. It's only four size twos and it's simple you're only going to play this it's not really much else of course you're going to play the impact monster but we'll get to that a little later we're going to show you a little something special for that but you play astrays because left or right can't be destroyed and great fate needs those you know uh size ones we'll start with best size one in game it's bay Sophia, obviously, you know, you gotta have the flag, so you gotta have her in her deck, you know. D don't make no sense. Allows you to search for any set spell in your deck. All you gotta do is discard a card, also setting up your drop zone for plays for days, you know. He said plays for days. <laughs> That's our name? <laughs> plays for days. <laughs> Woo! Midwest Chief approved. <laughs> uh, next uh, size ones, we got three of the buddy. I personally don't feel like you need to run four Regal Ryans. I sideboard one only because there's so much draw power, so much movement going on in this deck that you're pretty much guaranteed to see your buddy every game. And if you don't see it, you don't really need it. It's too much draw power. Three of the buddy. Who would have ever thought? Next up, we got probably fourth best size one. I don't know. There's a lot of debate around it. But Aquarius, this little bad chick right here she she sets up everything uh as soon as she's called she gets to gauge you for every star in your field so you got two on the field you get to gauge two and that's two for perfect great fate you know first turn great fate just became 10 times easier with these seems good next up on the list we go into the zeros excuse me because the last one isn't foiled but i'm sorry but that's this fine. little homie right here combined with your impact monster Astraeus is damn near the greatest combo in the game. You're only playing your three? Three impact monsters, four of this, because there's another zero that you can use to make this combo even perfect. Hmm. So this deals your opponent a damage and you get the draw card. And you get the draw card and gain a life at the start of your main phase every turn. Also, left and right can be destroyed, so you call these two out together. They're not going anywhere, and you get to deal a lot of damage and draw a bunch of cards. Just like I said, you don't really need Rigo Orion, but he's a plus just because it's a lot of movement going on. This MVP Zero sets up first turn plays like easily. Uh, you gauge this, pay a gauge, call this out, then it calls a size two or less star from your drop zone and allows you to easily go into this broken little combo. So it plays itself. Literally, the deck is pretty much autopilot at this point. That's Capricornio for those of y'all who didn't catch that. I didn't even think I said it. <laughs> uh, you play a two, three, you can play around with the numbers. Uh, like I said, you can take out the Astraces and play more Capricorns if you want. Or you can take out uh, Regal Reigns and rotate numbers. But I personally like two and sideboard the third one just in case. But it always comes out when I need it. Next up, we go into items. Uh, I personally hate the item. I mean, it gives me an extra attack, and I can attack over center, I can make numbers, but I personally usually side them out game two no matter what. Like, doesn't matter what I'm playing, I usually side it in to get more monsters or something. I mean, if you just sideboard your main board, it, it makes sense, but I personally like having items in my deck. That's the only reason why I play it. Danger World Fetish. You know? Danger World. That's that world. Next up, we get to the all-important card of the day, everyone pretty much pissed their pants once they saw this come out. This great fate frozen stars. Yes. Fuck your couch and everything you believe in. Ooh. Yes, I only Ooh. run three in my deck because Sophia can search out anything. And that's why she's big. Yes, she so is. They pop it, just search for another one. You can starfall night into the next one and call it a day. 
Next set spell we got is Sharpness Field. Uh, it's only in here just so you can swing for numbers and mainly for the Magic World slash Superheroine matchup. Yes, yeah, It really makes the Superheroine matchup the weirdest matchup in the world because Ooh. Mass Advantage doesn't leave the field, but hey, if you can't go nowhere, they can't bounce their Superheroines anymore, so you don't have to deal with that loop anymore. Next up, we got Escape. It's kind of counterintuitive if you use it with uh, Sharpness Field at the same time. So usually you play one before the other just to kind of mess with your opponent since you bounce stuff back to your hand with this, but it comes in handy if you need some quick little shields and you don't want your monsters to die just yet. Fair enough. Next up, we go into possibly the MVP of the day. Uh, I made a Gargantua Punisher mooch today and it was freaking amazing, so. Starfall Knight, counter call size one or less from your drop zone, anywhere on the board, so you can Starfall Knight into pretty much anything and get your whole field set up if you play the whole, if you play the field right. I use this card every chance I get. You can ask everyone at the tournament, you can post on the page. This card was my MVP. I've spammed this card so many times. Like this, this. It's like he opened four of them every game. Ah, it was <laughs> just amazing. Like either opened up with one hand, two in hand, or drew into him. Like this was just the card to show up. MVP easy. It got reprinted, it was a new artwork sucks. So I personally like this one better, but you know, Garrett needed some love, so. Next up, we got a very unimportant card because really don't really use it. Uh, Holy Grail, it's a shield, but personally you Starfall Knight so much or set up your field so that way stuff doesn't leave the field or it always comes back when you just slowly rotate your opponent's plays until they just don't want to play anymore. So you usually want to side these out when you get a chance, but it's also a decent shield when you just need to guard some stuff. Excuse the one foil. Hit him Next up, up with the foils. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got my arguably greatest shield in the game because it can save any star. Yes, it can save your great fate frozen star if they try to pop it. It's broke. Why not at the Valentine's Day promo though? Because I like the foils better. No, I put the number at the bottom. Come on, we know what it is. Don't hate. <laughs> anyway, this is your Drago Von Clone. Uh, prevents a star in your field from leaving the field, and you gain a gauge if you have a star on the left and right. You know, basic star tactics. Arguably best shield for Legend World, but you know, it's only for stars. So, so it's best for stars. We in an elite class around. <laughs> Next up, we get your guards. You play four as wire guards because you can use it anytime. It's also kind of like a secondary little minor shield. And then we have symbol guards, so you can draw two cards if you're at six or less. If you use the Strays Impact Monster, that six or less comes a lot later than you'd expect, or it comes faster and you just never ever use these, so you ditch them for your Sophias. But they're nice to have when you're going for your little Regal Orion combo, so you can always just draw ridiculous amounts of cards you just have plays for days, you know? He said it again. Plays for days. That's our team. <laughs> now we'll go on to the sideboard for the last little piece. Uh, a sideboard, an extra great fate for decks like Executioners. Like today, they popped my great fate probably twice today. It got really annoying, so I decided in an extra one so I can just already set it in. Using uh, Aquarius allowed you to get as much gauge as you need, so that wasn't really a problem setting my great fate. Next up, we side in an extra Capricorn. I personally would side two of these against, uh, I don't know really why you would side two, because you got two in the deck, you only really want to run three. It's only good for the Strays Impact Monster combo, but it can grab you a Sophia, so you can go search for a great fate, but I personally think you should only use it for the Strays combo. Next up is the fourth of my buddy. Uh, I probably would change this for a Capricorn because personally, I don't really feel like you need to run an extra Regal Orion, but hey, that's just me. Uh, next up is the card that everyone's kind of dope fiending for is Barb Wires. It's hard to find. Everybody's clock holding them up. Don't know why, how. Don't know how everyone's can't find these. I got five of them just chilling, you know. So we know who has them. Hit him <laughs> up if you want Barb Wires. I, I got five. <laughs> Run three in my main deck, keep two just for show, you know. I like to be extra. Next up, if you get tired of resting it, destroy it. You know, just get rid of it. You don't want to deal with it no more, that's my motto. It's like effects, great fate, get rid of it. We don't deal with anything. Don't have to ask no questions. Last up, 
Uh, if you're playing against another rush deck, let's rush them back. Give everybody crits. Ooh. Everyone goes home happy. Everybody gets crits. So that's my second place stars deck profile. Let me know if you got any questions. Yeah, hit him up on our channel. Ask him questions there in the comments below. Hit him up on Facebook. I'm sure he doesn't mind. I don't mind. He doesn't mind. All right, then, folks. Again, team plays for days. Congratulations, Corey. Have a good one, y'all. Wahala. Well,